Hey, it's Greg from His Dolls, and I'm sick. <laughs> All my life I've been trying, trying to be me. So I know that was an odd intro, but I just wanted to start with, like, yeah, my voice is off. Um, I got sick my birthday weekend. My birthday was November 21st, and I went out, had a great time, partied and stuff like that. I think it's because of my brother, but it also could just be, like, the fact that I was in, like, a club atmosphere and stuff like that, and who knows. But either way... I have been so under the weather and it has been rough, but I feel better now, but my voice is still recovering. And you're probably saying, Greg, you probably shouldn't be recording a video while you sound like this. And like, I'd agree with you, I would. And in fact, my husband <laughs> would agree with you. But I have the Paris Hilton doll and I don't wanna wait any longer to open it up. So this was my birthday present to myself this year. Um, I wasn't sure what I was going to do. Last year, I actually bought myself, um, Brianna Dulce as my birthday present to myself. And this year, I wanted to do another Rainbow High doll. And then, like, this came out, like, it was, uh, all over, um, doll Instagram. People were sharing that, like, there was a Walmart link, uh, to Paris Hilton. Um, it, it didn't have her name in the description or anything like that, but... I saw it and it was November 20th, I think is when I purchased her. I was actually about to get ready to go out and like have fun and stuff. And um, I saw that this was out and I was like, yep, there's my birthday present to myself. Um, so I got this for myself for my birthday and I've been wanting to open it up and it is, actually it's not that much later. Well, it's like a whole week later and I've just been under the weather so I haven't opened it. So it's just been sitting here and I cannot wait any longer. So I am opening this today. So this is the Paris Hilton um, collector doll. It was $100. I bought it on um, walmart.com. I don't know if this is something that's going to be sold um, in stores or not. I literally have no idea. Uh, but I just went ahead and bought it uh, while it was up. I think it's like gone down and come back up and gone down. Um, but that's a normal thing for like uh, the online purchases. I went through the same thing with... Um, the Royal Three when I was buying them online. Like sometimes they were up, sometimes they were down. Um, so if you're looking for her, I guess just keep checking. But yes, this is the doll, this is her box. It's very similar to Lily Chang, the, one of the other collector dolls we got this year. And as far as collector dolls, I own Lily Chang, I own Jet Dawson, but I do not have Maria or Roxy. Um, so this is my third collector doll and I think this one's very similar to uh, to Lily Chang and box art style. We have the tag right here that says Rainbow High and it has like uh, these little gems uh, printed all around. It's really cute. We have this art of Paris in her first outfit. Down here it says Paris Hilton. Then we just have plain side on this one. Then here it says Premium Edition. And then we have this art on the back of her in her second outfit with her dog and her phone and stuff like that. So. Now let's go ahead and open her up. And I'm gonna let you know, I have already seen the doll. Like there's no way I could like just let her sit there for days, not look at her, but here she is. So there is Paris with her dog, Mr. Amazing, and her second outfit, her phone. Over here, there's a bit like a little, I'm gonna end up covering my face, but there's like a little blurb. Um, I don't know how well you can read it. Uh, let's see, it says, Paris Hilton, is that even showing on screen? Yeah, but it's super far away. Uh, Paris Hilton is an entrepreneur, global influencer, and Rainbow High style icon. She turns heads and everywhere she goes and seldom steps, uh, everywhere she goes, and seldom steps out without her Pomeranian bestie, Mr. Amazing. Then we just have Rainbow High, and it's a lot of like pink glitter look back here. Then in the other uh, side panel, we have Right here, Paris Hilton with her dog and her signature in the first outfit. And yeah, so that's kind of it as far as the box goes. I'm like putting that behind my head so I can like show her and be in frame. So that's kind of it um, as far as the box. It's really cute. I think it's pretty. As I said, it's very similar to um, the Lily Ching doll, which um, if I'm honest, I think I preferred the Lily Ching doll. Like this art is beautiful. Don't get me wrong, but I was just like gobsmacked by the art of Lily Ching. But this is still really cute. It's really nice art. Um, so I guess I'm just going to start unboxing her. Um, I'm going to go with the unboxing while talking. That seems to have gone well. Oh, I need to get scissors. This seems to have gone well in the channel in the past. So 
I'm gonna continue with that. Um, I'm gonna start, I'm not gonna be able to show this one off camera, so it's mainly just gonna be me talking. Uh, but I'm gonna start by like cutting open this side and seeing if I can just slide her out the side. Um, I don't really remember how open Lily Chang. I bought her um, so long ago. I feel like I'm just like flipping this box all over the place. Let's see, we got tape up here top. Uh, but I guess I can start by talking about just my opinion on a Paris Hilton doll. I literally just cut the box. I did not even cut the tape. I'm not looking at what I'm doing. Um, as far as Paris Hilton being a collector doll and like the first celebrity doll we've gotten um, from Rainbow High, um, I have a couple opinions. Um, not necessarily bad, not necessarily good either. Like, it's just, I don't know. I guess it's generalization. So for starters, uh, my history with Paris Hilton, not that I like know her or anything, but like, um, what I know of Paris Hilton is probably a better way to phrase that is I knew of her show, um, like the simple life and stuff. Like it was often shown on TV and everything. She was able to just slide out the side compartment, which is very nice. I'm just going to set it right there. Hopefully she doesn't fall. Okay. Um, I knew of her show. I didn't watch it myself. Um, and like, I know like she popped up in magazines, like when you're, uh, Growing up when walking down like Food Lion or the grocery store and you see like the like tabloids or like gossip magazines, she was often on the front of them with some type of crazy like, uh, what is the magazine's version of clickbait? Um, I don't know, like titles that make you want to just grab it sometimes saying crazy ridiculous things. But I never really had a super positive or super negative opinion on Paris Hilton. Um, I was, I guess, indifferent. I wasn't a big fan of, like, uh, the reality TV craze that a lot of people got into, um, in my younger years, like, Jersey Shore and all that stuff, which, I guess Jersey Shore was well after, like, The Simple Life and stuff like that, but it didn't, like, speak to me. I didn't really care about it. Um, now, if we're talking about reality competition shows, that's a whole different story. Oh, okay. Um, I unbox this. This is her stand. And it actually has her second pair of earrings inside here. I was wondering where those were. And her direction book. I'll just set this to the side. Uh, so I didn't um, necessarily... I don't want to tear these boxes since this is like a collector box. So I don't have like any big opinions on Paris Hilton. But I think it's interesting that she was chosen as uh the like first celebrity doll or collector doll got that out uh for rainbow high um for two reasons one that i think is positive i think it's really cool because she's known to collect dolls herself so it's kind of cool that like it's of a doll collector like i think that's really cool um i would definitely like prefer a doll collector over a non-doll collector like someone who cares about it to some degree you know what i mean um, even though her, she's known to collect, like, Barbie, which is not Rainbow High, um, I was able to get everything out okay. So, there's the empty box. I'm just gonna close this now. Uh, I think it's cool that they chose to go with someone who is a dog collector. Dun, 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 dun. Nice. I'm gonna just set that to the side. But then I have, like, other questions um, about it. Like, for example, uh, Paris Hilton is well-known. And I'm not saying... Let me get to my point before I start, like, uh, trying to defend my point. Um, Paris Hilton is more of, like, a millennial icon. Like, she's more well-known and known of and not respected, but just, like, I don't know. I feel like millennials would get Paris Hilton more than um, Gen Z. And the reason I say that, which I don't even know, is is there a generation already younger than Gen Z? It might be, I don't keep up with that. But anyway, like, she seems very much like a millennial icon or like a millennial celebrity. Like she doesn't, she's not in the limelight much anymore. And so I think it's really interesting that a line that's targeted towards children because Rainbow High is a, like they make dolls for children like many adults enjoy it and i'm definitely one of them but they are targeted towards children so it's interesting that they would have a 
kind of like a, an ambassador or like a a collector doll of a celebrity of a celebrity that's more relevant to an older generation like i would have been less surprised if it had been like um maybe a famous tiktoker or something like that or someone that's like really influential for um a younger demographic but oh my gosh i'm already losing um i got the boots out but i already knew this was gonna happen i've seen people talking about it i'm already i've already lost my first gem it's right here i'm just gonna set it to the side and hopefully like glue it back in place or something later i'm not sure um i want to be like really gentle with those because people say like everything just falls off of them. Um, now I'm gonna start opening this. Uh, everyone, where was I saying? Oh yeah, so like I think of her as more of a like millennial icon. So it's interesting that a brand that's targeted towards a younger demographic would use an older, uh, a celebrity that's more well known within an older demographic. Because I did hear like, uh, big group of people like i'm not saying mil every millennial is happy that paris hilton has a doll but i noticed that um a lot of people who were like upset or even confused as to who she was was like people of a younger demographic within the collecting community and it just had me thinking it's like it is an interesting choice like i'm not complaining i think it's really cool she's cute she's a doll collector and so like i don't have any like complaints but i just think it was an interesting choice to choose her as their celebrity ambassador um her little phone it is so cute and it is in a phone case i want to see i want to take it out now i'm impatient so i don't know do any of you feel that way like again this isn't to say i don't think she should have been made into a doll i'm just saying like it was an interesting choice to choose like you know a millennial icon or like a, someone who is more iconic for the millennial generation look that is so cool Oh wow, it is very reflective. You can see me very well. Uh, so I think that's interesting. Um, let me know what you guys think. I love the phone. I hope we get more of these. Like, this is super nice, super cute, and I love she came with it. Give us more Rainbow Hot. Please give us more phones. I love it. All right, I'm gonna start getting this jacket out. So other than that, the other thing I want to talk about in regards to our collector doll here is the price. So $100 is kind of a lot. Um, I've seen some people like really upset about it. I've seen some people say, um, doing a lot of comparisons with like some of the other collector dolls. And I think the best one I could compare it to is I think Lily Chang. So Lily Chang is probably my favorite collector. Like, I don't know. I haven't like fully experienced the Paris Hilton doll yet. But thus far, before um, having this doll, and again, I do not have Maria or Roxy Grand, but um, having experienced Lily Chang, I will say I think Paris Hilton is very similar to the Lily Chang doll. Like, the quality is super nice. It comes with two outfits, um, a really nice box with, like, really good art that's nice to display if you're an inbox dis uh, displayer you display things in box um there's a lot of like good things um to compare them between but this doll is 20 dollars more expensive so when i got lily chang i think she was a beautiful doll i think she is still to this day like like i said earlier she's one of the best collector dolls rainbow high has um released but she also i thought was like i don't know i was like $80 like I I bought her I mean I, I definitely bought her and I'd buy her again at the $80 price point um, she's an incredible doll but um, she is very expensive and I did like think about it before I it wasn't like a no-brainer to purchase her um, and she's very nice quality she's beautiful I love having her but I felt $80 was a little much but I was like okay fine you know $80 um, Paris Hilton being a hundred dollars. That is, that is a lot. Um, I feel like she should be $80 if they were going to, you know, uh, I don't know. I feel like she's on the same level as, uh, good old Lily Chang. And I don't understand how she gets a $20 upcharge. Now I know, um, this is a perfect moment to show it. 
just opened her and we got the tag here. So I know like they have the name of a celebrity. Like, oh, is that upside down? Yes, it is. There we go. I know they have Paris Hilton's name all over it and they have to pay like rights or whatever, but still whatever that is, like that's not my business. I'm just saying like the quality of this doll is not $20 more than um, Lily Chang in my opinion. Like it's hard for me to say this is a hundred dollar doll. Um, I did pay for it, but it was used with birthday money. So I was like, it's a birthday gift. Da, da, da. I don't know. In my, in my head, I was able to justify it. Uh, but it is, it is a little steep. Um, I do hope that oh, I just touched her dress and I cannot, I cannot wait. Um, I do hope she does go on sale. Cause I know there's a lot of people who are interested in her, but like just cannot justify or cannot even afford spending a hundred dollars on this doll, especially at this time of the year, like right at Christmas time like the holiday season, like it's a lot. Maybe I can set him right here with uh, Margo over here. There we go, that's cute. He's just chilling on her arm. Well, okay. So I have Paris out of the bag. She, the bag, the box. Um, she is absolutely gorgeous. This hair is incredible. Um, I've heard people say nylon. I honestly couldn't tell you, but I can say it's just as soft and like thick and beautiful as like all rainbow hair, rainbow high doll hair. Uh, she's absolutely beautiful. There is gel in the hair. It's very light gelling, um, but she is going to need a hair washing. I'm probably not going to record it, honestly, because all I'm going to do is like just soak her hair up to this point, put some soap through it, wash it, rinse it, let it dry. Like it's not going to be... Um, anything in depth. I'm not gonna be like boiling the hair or anything. Or maybe I should, cause it has some like waves in it. Maybe boil washing um, would be nice. But either still, I don't think I'm gonna record that. It's a very simple um, procedure. If you guys prefer, like even when I have a simple washing, um, cause I know the last couple I haven't really shown the hair washing. Uh, I haven't shown it just cause it was like simple. I, it didn't have like a lot of styling or anything involved. Um, let me know if you still just enjoy watching that part because I can record it. Uh, also, part of the reason I'm not doing it this time is uh, I still I just don't feel like it. I'm still in recovery mode from being sick, so like I'm allowed to cut corners if I want to. But I just need this doll open. It's my birthday present, and my birthday is like almost been gone past the week, or it's over a week past my birthday. So now I'm opening her stand and stuff. I'm gonna build her stand. Put her little earrings to the side. Oof. I'm trying to think if there's any more like big opinions I have about the collector doll Paris Hilton. The price is a bit much. Um, I think she's an interesting choice for a collector doll for a doll line targeted towards a younger demographic. Um, I don't have much history with Paris Hilton, but I think she's a beautiful doll and I'm happy to have her. Uh, I think that's about it. So here is her stand. It's like a very dark pink. I don't know. I feel like we have a similar color. Well, we have so many pinks. It's bound to like start to look the same, honestly. But the, the comb is the same color. That's nice. We can go ahead and take Miss Hilton. This dress, you guys. I, I know we're not at the part where we look up at, at close details. I'm afraid to put the stand on around it. It's like chain mail. It is so cool. I also have so many videos to catch up on. Um, I have like recorded things and everything, but I just, being sick, I just haven't felt like it. And also, other than dolls, I'm also a bit of a video game nerd. I love some video games. And one of my favorite games uh, is World of Warcraft. Don't judge me. I've been playing since the second expansion. Like, I've been playing since I was in middle school and I'm still, like, I'm an in and out fan. I show up sometimes and then other times not as much. My whole family played and they just released the new expansion and I've been having so much fun doing that and ignoring all other responsibilities. <laughs> um, that was completely random, but here she is on her stand. Like, do you see, like, this is like metal. This dress is incredible, honestly. 
I love Lily Chang. I do, I do. But I'm starting to think maybe Paris Hilton's clothes is more detailed. I still think $100 is too much. Don't get me wrong. But the quality of her pieces are kind of insane. Um, I'm opening the little package that has her second pair of earrings. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I just realized I did not give her Mr. Amazing back. That's okay. Uh, so here are her second pair of earrings. They're very cute. Very nice. I realize I'm showing most of this up close. I'm still adjusting to like how I'm going to be. I guess unboxing things. I don't know. Um, and the last thing is her hanger, um, with that little bag of stuff, because, I don't know, I thought they were done with hangers, but then they gave, uh, Paris Hilton a hanger, so it's very interesting, so I don't know, but anyway, we have her out of the box, she looks great, we're gonna switch over to detail view, look at both of her outfits and everything she comes with, and then hair washing, and then I'm gonna switch her to her second outfit, and kind of give closing thoughts, so let's switch over to detail view. Okay, so here we have Paris Hilton up close, so we can see all of her little details. And there's a lot to look at. I will say, um, again, I think I'm going to say this multiple times, $100 is a lot for a doll. But I will say I actually am more impressed with this doll than I expected it to be. So I'm first going to start with all of her accessories and then pull her up close. So first let's start off with Mr. Amazing. Her little Pomeranian. He is so cute. This little tongue kills me. Like, that is adorable. And he has these black little gem eyes. Um, honestly, he really reminds me of, like, the bunny slippers and, uh, what was it, bear? I think bear slippers um, that Slumber Party came with. Sorry, I was turning around because I have Slumber Party behind me. Um, he has this cute little nose. And he's articulated, which is really cool. Like, he, you can twist his head his arms, his feet, and his tail. So like, he has a really a lot of articulation, like way more than's like necessary. Um, I will say he gives kind of more of a teddy bear effect <laughs> than a dog. Um, I get, he, he looks really cute when he's being held, but if he's not being held, he kind of looks weird. Like he doesn't, he doesn't have like a way to pose him to just look like a regular dog sitting or something. But he's super cute. I love him and I think he is such a cute accessory. Gonna put him back on her arm. See if he sits. Okay. Next she has like her little makeup bag. Um, kind of purse. So inside it's just empty. Um, it clicks shut. It's pink. It has this translucent hot pink tag. And it has silver details. It um, mimics the like trunks that we've seen with other sets like the twins. So it's pretty cool. Um, I actually would have been really cool if this had been clear like the trunks we've gotten in the past and you could use it with really any doll. But it's still a really cute piece. It's just like, kind of just looks like a makeup travel kit. I think they meant it as a purse, but it really just gives like makeup artist traveling vibes to me. Um, the next accessory to go over would be her earrings. So this is her second outfit earrings. And in my opinion, I really like these earrings. They're simple, but they're so nice. They kind of have like a, oh, um, what's the word? Pearlescent paint on them. So they shift color pretty well. You can kind of see it here. And it's just simple little studs, um, but it has a three-dimensional gem look to it. They're super cute, really simple. And I think, um, I don't know, it's a nice piece just to have for the Rainbow High dolls in general. Next, I'm gonna go into, oh wait, her cell phone, her cell phone. Um, I kind of showed this already, but this is her cell phone. It definitely has the looks of an iPhone. Um, it has a photo of her with like a pink sparkly background. This is her in her first outfit and it's like focusing on her. You got the camera features down here. You have the battery and signal and looks like she's got Wi-Fi and everything. And I don't know, I think it's just some dots. But anyway, super cute. On the back, you have this like uh, studded looking of a P and a pink glitter phone case. And then I think this feature is so cool. The fact that it's a phone case you can take off. Um, and then we have this super shiny pink phone, which is really cool. 
and probably the best part about it is the case comes with this little uh ring right here and that fits perfectly for like putting it on her thumb so that she can hold it which is amazing i love having that piece it makes it i don't know it makes it look very natural um now i'm gonna jump into her second outfit before we move on to the doll herself so this is her second pair of boots the iconic and infamous so i am worried um as you saw i've already lost one gym i'm not really sure from where honestly but people are losing pearls and gems and everything on these boots which is so sad because these boots are insane incredible so beautiful like i absolutely love this boots it's like something stella monroe would dream of um, they are so beautiful. I definitely want to display my um, pairs in these boots, but I am going to be very careful and very cautious when putting them on. And even if I'm super careful, I'll probably still lose pieces based off of what people have been saying about these. But they're super beautiful. They're hot pink. They have all these pearl details. Then they have little faux gems on them. Um, these bigger ones, I need to cover up her face, bigger ones and smaller ones. And then they even have this like silver threaded um, spots in it as well. And then they have these little silver platforms. I need to cover up her face, so I'm just gonna focus on that, which are really nice. I'm gonna just set those down there. Next, we're gonna pull up her second outfit. Look at how that glitters or shines. Like, that's incredible. Okay. So here's her second outfit. This is the one we see her wear most in the show. And I think it's been replicated into doll form beautifully. Like all the detailing comes onto the back. Um, I'm sure this will fit fine on Paris. Um, this mannequin form is just a little big with all the pieces I put on it. But we have those same uh, gems and pearl pieces. And it doesn't look like we have the silver thread on this one, but it's just beautiful. And I know some people have had problems with the lapel laying down, but mine seems to be laying down fine, which is a relief. And it has the cutouts here and here. I don't know. It's just such a beautiful piece. Like, it's just so eye-catching. I love it. So now that we've gone over that, now let's go over what she's actually wearing. So I'm going to move Mr. Amazing. We can put him over here with the dress. I'm going to take off her cell phone. And we're gonna bring Miss Hilton up close. Let me take off her little, yep. And here we go. So here is the Paris Hilton doll up close. Um, she has her own unique face mold, which I think is very quickly um, easily recognized with like the new sculpted nose. I think that's the main thing that people are easy, like, e the main thing people are able to pick up on. Um, I think it's pretty cool. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. Like, it's not my favorite face mold or anything, but I think it's kind of cool. Like, it does um, have some... What's the word? It does uh, make me think of Paris and the features. I can't think of the word. Um, not mimic, but maybe mimicking her face. Um, like, I think it mimics her features. I guess that's the best way to say it. Um, pretty well. She's really pretty. Um, she has this simple pink makeup. Um, it's like a faded, uh, shades of brown and pink and hot pink. It's really cute. It's kind of simple compared to the makeup we've been getting recently with Rainbow High, but I think it looks nice considering this is meant to represent someone. Uh, she has the rooted eyelashes as always. She has these blue eyes, which are really pretty. She has this bold red lip, which is really nice. Um, it really sticks out with all the pink going on. Um, and then she has this super long blonde hair. And I think this is the first doll we've gotten. Well, actually, that's not true. We have Delilah, who is, like, fully blonde. But um, this is one of the few, then, uh, that's a fully natural color. Like, Lily Chang, she has all um, mostly black hair, but then she has, like, the orange streaks in it. And I have, like, I do like the color, I think it's really cool um, because it does look like her hair again. It's meant to represent someone, but I think it would be cool if like, I don't know, I like the ones that have some type of colorful color in it somewhere. So like if she had like pink dyed ends or something, I think that'd be really cool. But again, this does replicate her hair and it looks really nice. Um, I just think she'll 
I don't know, maybe she'll look fine in my collection because Lily doesn't stick out with all of her black hair or anything like that. So maybe she'll just, she'll be just fine. But I do like prefer the colorful hair colors. Um, but yeah, so she has long blonde hair, it's super thick. Again, it is gelled a little, but super beautiful. Then she has a tiara up here with the little gem. It's the same type of gem she has um, in her second outfit over there. Um, and then I have seen online that she does not have a part line and there's kind of like a bald line like there's like this first row of hair and then that's it So I definitely am gonna be keeping her hair up in this styling. I don't want to mess that up Now we can move on to this dress which is a Whole scene stealer. This dress is incredible. Like I know people have said like it's metallic and it's shiny da da da, da. but like the detail like it like just, you know what I mean? Like it bunches up, you can hear it. Like it's like a really metal dress. It's really like chain melt. It is incredible. It's amazing. I love this dress so much. It's so cool. And it has like this like slouchy feature up top where you can see this other fabric um, coming through. Then she has these silver detailings up here, which is like their little Versace head, I think. That's what it looks like to me at least. Um, she has this silver, uh, little clothespin feature down here. It's a really cool piece. And something I thought, uh, something I thought was interesting is there's a couple of them that are silver. So, like, look at this one right here. It's not reflection. This is a fully silver pink piece. And I have a couple of those. Like, this is silver. That's silver up there. And I think there's one further in the skirt. Maybe not. Maybe just at the top is those couple pieces. But yeah, I have some that are silver. I don't know if that's on purpose or if those just like miss the coloring. It doesn't bother me, but I thought it was interesting um, and worth pointing out. And then underneath, she also has, it looks like um, there's like a pink skirt here. But this is all one piece. Like it's sewn together. You can see here. And pink ribbon strip uh, straps in the back. But in the front, it has these cool metal detailings. Um, then we have down here are these shoes and I don't know if it's interesting. They're like a purpley pink. They're cute, but I don't think they really tell the same color story as the rest of the outfit. But we can also see here that she has ankle articula articulation and it can move up and down. It's kind of stiff, but I don't know. It doesn't really go flat like it. You can't move it past that. So I don't really know what the point of it was. And also, if I were to choose where they would be articulated, I would want the chest joint. Like, I really like the chest joint that's on Jet Dawson. And she's a standard rainbow high articulation other than this ankle. So, I don't know. It's interesting, but I'd definitely choose uh, chest articulation if they were going to add one point, one extra point of articulation. Um, next, we can look at her gloves and her nails. So these gloves, more of those gems, very similar to this material actually completely reminds me of costume Ball Bella, the pink netting and the gems. And then she has this ring. I don't know if we're gonna get a focus, there we go. A really nice ring. And then she has kind of these like peachy nails with white tips. They're nice. She has these two uh, bracelets over here. This one has a P for Paris, which is nice because typically if we see lettering it's R or H. Um, then this kind of like opalescent color shifty bracelet, which reminds me of TR songs bracelets I'm not sure if it's a repeat, but it's like similar this one too This one really reminds me of TR songs bracelets and then we have another one of those pink netted gloves with the rhinestones and Now we have the last accessories we have on her now are her hoop earrings, which are really pretty They're rhinestone all the way around and they're just stuck in, they're nice hoops. And then she has this very thick choker, which has a split in the back for taking on and off easy, which is, I like that better than like the ones with the pegs you have to push through, so I like that. And again, same rhinestones. So very cute, very pretty. Um, I'm always like, I'm so nervous about putting this on this dress. Like it makes me, ooh, ooh, I don't wanna like scrape anything or mess anything up. Ooh, okay, okay, I think I got it. Okay, so that's kind of like, ev ooh. 
Okay, that's kind of everything to look at with Paris Hilton up close. Um, she's very pretty. Again, I still think $100 are steep. I've said this about 100 times in this video already. But I do see a lot of quality. Like, she is a very impressive doll, and I love every single one of her pieces. Like, um, the least impressive piece to me would probably be this little makeup bag. And this is still a really nice piece in general. Um, it's just not much of my taste. But... She's a beautiful and incredible doll, but I need to wash the gel out of hair. I need to wash the gel out of her hair and then get her in her second outfit. And then I'll have my closing thoughts then. So I'll be back with that. Okay, so it is the next day. My voice is a bit better, um, still on its way. But anyway, here is Paris now. Her hair is washed and she is in her second outfit. Um, I actually did end up having to do more with her hair other than just wash it, which by the way, it is like incredibly soft, amazing, like rainbow high hair typically is. Um, so when I took the tiara out of her hair, which I have back there on the mannequin form, um, it left like indents in her hair. Um, Cause I wanted to display her, not display her, but I wanted to show her in her second outfit without the tiara like it is in the art on the box. So when I took it out, it left like indents where the tiara was. So if you take it out, just so you know, it's gonna like leave a kind of messiness in the hair. So I ended up actually taking the entire ponytail down and then putting it back up, but I moved it higher up cause it was kind of like, I don't know. It was a high ponytail for sure, but it was a little low. So now I did a high ponytail, but I did it even higher. And honestly, I like it better. Like it looks better higher up and I like how I'm able to like brush it on either side of her head, or I can just pull it all the way back. I don't know. I think it looked, ugh, I said, I don't know so many times, but I just pulled it up higher and I think she looks a lot nicer with her, the ponytail being a little further up on her head. She looks so beautiful. That hasn't changed. Um, here you can see her in her second outfit, which is very detailed, very beautiful. Um, these are her, this is her second pair of earrings on. They look really nice. And now let's talk about the boots because I know I talked a lot about it. You've probably seen other people talk about it that these boots um, are difficult and easily pieces fall off. And I was extremely cautious. Like I really took my time and I actually only lost one little tiny gem. And I don't know if it's because mine's glued better than a lot of other people's or not, but I think that's pretty good. And the main thing I did, if you wanna know my technique, is I took her articulated heel and it's like this. I put it down as far as it could go and I slowly moved it up. And the areas where it's threaded, I would use those as kind of like a anchor to pull um, the boots up. So like right here, for example, you can see, I'm trying to find a good spot. Okay, this is a good example. So right here, you have the thread here. So I'd put my finger here and I'd pull where the thread was. That way I wouldn't have to hit any gems or pearls. And I did the same thing. There's another threaded part down here. So I just used the threaded areas to move it up. It did take some time. It was not easy, um, but I had a minimal loss of pieces and I don't plan on taking these boots off of her. So <laughs> I'm happy with it and they look incredible. Um, and like I just said, I don't plan on taking these boots off of her. So this is how I plan to display her. Um, but I'll have her with her accessories. Uh, you can see Mr. Amazing and her cell phone back there. She'll definitely have Mr. Amazing on one arm and her cell phone in her other hand. And she's beautiful. So now I want to talk about her overall like price point. I know I've already like spoken on it a bit, but I've had like more time to look at her, look at all of her pieces and also just think about her price point. And I'm gonna say something a little, I think controvers controversial, Contra controversial, I can't say that word. I don't know why at the moment, controversial. That's not right, like the versal part I'm saying wrong. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? Like something uh, that might differ from a lot of people's opinions is I can kind of see the $100 price point. And before you go crazy on me, um, I still think it's very expensive for a Playline co uh, collectible. Um, I do think it's a lot, but if we're just gonna talk about the quality of her pieces, she has a basically metal dress, which is a first in Rainbow High and is also amazing quality. Like, just like 
the way it shines and everything like just back here you can see how like liquid it almost is you know what i mean like water like the movement is it's incredible then the these like faux leather boots and this jacket which are embellished basically everywhere they can be they are covered in embellishment gems and pearls which is so beautiful then she has rhinestones in her jewelry um these earrings this choker and her other um her other jewelry she had in here and a lot of her pieces are unique they're not um remolded i think her two of her bracelets i think are reused molds um the two that I said were similar to tiara songs but these earrings are new the choker right here is new um this purse is new then she also in both of her shoes are brand new well this actually might kind of follow something similar to we already have but uh it's still uh the embellishments on it are new these shoes oh no i'm sorry margo i have my little Ooh. these shoes are new mold which by the way i didn't show these off much but like there's a little bow on the back which is really cool and it's clear it has little silver painted buckle details on the side Mine aren't painted that well, but there's like a little bit of silver paint on it right here. But it's a lot of unique molds um, that haven't been used before. Then we have the cell phone with a cell phone case with the um, the P for Paris on it, as well as Mr. Amazing, which is the first animal and it's flocked. Like, I'm not sure if they should have, like, maybe they should have taken a couple things out or like, I don't know if she needed all of this and that I think $100 is a lot, but I kind of see where a lot of the budget went. I am not, <laughs> I don't think I fully can explain whether $100 is worth it. It really comes down to the person. But for me, again, I use my birthday, like uh, I use gift money and everything, and it was a birthday gift to myself. So it's a bit of a different situation, but I don't, regret spending a hundred dollars on this doll with all the incredible pieces and detailed pieces that she comes with and all the new things and new molds that she introduces um again that doesn't mean i think everybody should be willing to pay a hundred dollars for this doll if she was cheaper and uh easier for everyone to get that that'd be amazing i would love like her to be more affordable for everyone like that's what i would prefer like i'd say take away a couple things so then everybody can have her but uh, I will say I am very happy to have her in my collection and uh, I think she definitely um, her quality uh, is way more than what I realize and I think what some people realize like the sparkles the everything she's very delicate but she is high 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 quality um, she's very beautiful high quality and yeah honestly what i kind of imagine is like this is almost i mean <laughs> maybe i'm wrong i don't have a lot of experience with integrity toys all i have well she's not over there right now she's moved uh somewhere else but i have the trixie mattel doll and then the doll that i opened on halloween but this doll right here feels almost like if integrity toys and rainbow high work together to make a doll it would be something like this if that makes any sense. I don't know if that makes any sense, but like to me, like that's what I see. Um, I think she's super beautiful. I'm happy to have her. Um, the price is high, but I don't think you're being like completely ripped off. Like she is a higher price, but she also has some of the highest quality pieces we have seen so far in Rainbow High. And I think that's my main point. I don't know if she's $100, worth $100, but she has some of the highest quality pieces that we have seen so far in Rainbow High. And that's something I can definitely put like my, <laughs> I can sign off on that part. Um, but again, I don't think she's a necessity for anybody. I don't think anybody should feel like they have to have her or anything like that. But I think she's a beautiful doll. And if you want her, I really hope you can get her. Um, I'm very happy to have her in my collection. And she's definitely one that's going to be on my main display because I think she is her quality and speaks for itself and looking at her will just make me very happy. 
Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead, probably throw on her last accessories and then kinda, that'll be it. <laughs> All right, so this is Paris's final posing. This is where she's gonna, how she's gonna look on my display. I'm gonna have her like right in the center of all the Rainbow Vision dolls for now. Um, then eventually she'll probably move into the pink lineup where I have the colors going behind me. But she's so beautiful. And again, I really hope everyone who wants her can get her um, because she is a very unique and standout doll for the Rainbow High Line. Also, one last thing that I want to talk about is her phone. Um, so it has a P on the back, of course. And um, at first I was really annoyed by that. I was like, oh man, nobody else can use it. Uh, it's like labeled with a P. But one thing is when she's holding it, it covers it up, honestly. Like you can't see the lettering much. And also I realized, um, I don't know, maybe this is just exciting for me. Maybe it won't be for you guys. But I realized the P, is there another pink doll that's like associated with the letter P? And then I realized Bella Parker. Like it could be like her last name initial, like on her phone case. I don't know. I thought it was pretty cool. So I feel like I could also use this phone with Bella. I mean, she'd have a screensaver of Paris, but I mean, it's fine. I just thought it was cool that there's another way I could use this phone. But for now, I'll let Paris keep her phone. So that is it. Let me know what you guys think about the $100 and everything I brought up in uh, like this video. Like, are you gonna get her? Do you think she's worth it? Do you think she's too much? Do you think I'm crazy for thinking that she has this quality? Um, let me know down below. I'd love to discuss it and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.